Hello and welcome to a new edition of Vaughan and Bevo. Yes, this is a new edition of Vaughan Live. My name is Richard Vaughan. I'm an English teacher. I've been teaching English for demasiados años, eh? la verdad. Too many years. I'm tired of teaching. But some people came to me and said, Richard, we have a proposition. And I said, honesta? Una proposición honesta? Of course, an honest proposition. We want you to teach English. Oh, really? I've been teaching English for 35 years. But we want you to teach English on television. On television? Say more. Explain more. We want you to teach English in front of all of Spain. Todo España. We want you to endow the Spanish population with an English. Dotar de inglés a toda la población española. Yes. Vaya reto. Okay, what a challenge. So I'm here. I'm here. I'm going to try to teach you English, your neighbor English, the other neighbor English, the people who live upstairs, I'm going to try to teach English, the people who live downstairs, the people who live on the ground floor, the people who live on the top floor, all right, and the people who live in the other neighborhoods near yours. I'm going to try to teach everyone English in this country, but I will fail estrepitosamente. I will fail, fracasaré. I will fail if you don't help me, okay? So, I'm going to try to work very carefully on your coco and to make you start to like my language and say, este tipo tan curioso, me gusta en inglés de repente, ¿por qué será? Okay, that's my job. So my job is to make you fall in love in English, caemos enamorados. No nos enamoramos, caemos. Boom. To make you fall in love with my language. That's my job. And so, I have today, as usual, two helpers. But I have a problem. Perhaps you can help me. I'm having reivindicaciones. Se ha montado en un sindicato. Okay, there's a problem. Because it's two ladies. Two very attractive, very pleasant ladies. But both of them have a good side and a bad side. <laughs> All right? Que no os riáis, eh, queer. Don't show them, okay? Not yet. All right. Now, on my right is Annette, and her good side is her right side. So, the camera is going to point at her good side. Now, on my left, I have Eva, and her good side is also her right, but now the camera is pointing at her bad side, and she's upset. Yeah, cara de pocos amigos. <laughs> Is that right? Um, no. Come on. Well, you're right, but I'm not, I'm not upset. Come on. You're not upset. No, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> bueno. Una solución salomónica. <laughs> Perhaps after the half hour, after the break, <laughs> we'll switch. And that was the only way I could keep peace. Mantener la paz between these two ladies, okay? It's difficult. The next time I'm going to bring two men, they don't care. Les da igual. They don't care. It doesn't matter to them. But the women are so special, so particular, so specific. Tan exquisitas, okay? Exquisillosas, right? Yes, you're right. <laughs> that um, I've decided, okay, at the half hour, boom, we will change. But in the meantime, mientras tanto, in the meantime, let's work on some English, okay? But very simple English today for beginners. Is this a glass? Or yes. Eva, digo Eva. Oh, Annette, is this a glass or an elephant? It's a glass. Is it in my left hand or in my right hand? It's in your left hand. Am I holding it in front of me or behind me? You're holding it in front of you. Tell me to put it on the table. Put it on the table, please. Where do you want me to put it? In the middle of the table or on the edge? In the middle of the table. What does she want me to do, Eva? Uh, she wants you to put, uh, to put it in the middle of the table. But does she want me to put it in the middle of the table with my left hand or with my right hand? Uh, she wants you to put it with your left hand. She didn't tell me that. Well, but uh, I can Ask her it. what <laughs> hand she wants me to use. Uh, Annette, what hand do you want him to put uh, the, the, the glass, glass on the table? On the table. I want you to put it with the right hand. I want you to put it on the table with your right hand. Good, which means I need to change it, right? Yes. All right, tell me to change the glass from my left hand to my right hand. Change your glass from your left hand to your right hand. What am I doing, Eva? You're changing the glass from your left hand 
to your right hand. And now what am I going to do? You are going to put the, the glass on the table. What am I doing, Annette? You're putting it on the table. Have I put it on the table yet, or am I still? No. <laughs> you, you haven't? Are, you haven't put it on the table. Yet? Yet. Am I about to put it on the table? You are about to put it on the table. Ah. Have I already put it on the table? You have already put it on the table. Now tell me to put it closer to the microphone. I'll put it uh, closer to the microphone, please. My microphone. Microphone. Ask her why she wants me to put it closer to the microphone. Why do you want him to put it close to the microphone? Only to bother him. No, there's a reason. <laughs> Ask me why. No, I want to put it closer to the microphone. Ask me why. Why do you want to put it uh, closer to the microphone? Because the technical people in this program tell me to put the glass here. Okay. okay. Now, ask me if they make me nervous. Do they make you nervous? No, they don't, but they try to make <laughs> me nervous. Okay, ask me if I need water during this class. Do you need the water during the class? No, I don't really need water during the class. But ask me if I always keep a glass of water when I teach. Do you always keep a glass of water when you teach? Yes, I do. Ask me why. Why do you always keep a glass of water when you teach? Because I'm nervous when I teach, and so the glass of water helps me calm my nerves. Tell Annette to ask me if I'm nervous now. Annette, ask him if he's nervous now. Are you nervous now? Yes, I am. Ask me why. Why are you nervous now? Because there are a lot of people out there watching, and they make me nervous. Ask me if people make me nervous. Uh, do people make you nervous? Yes, they do. Ask me why. Why, people, why do people make you nervous? Uh, because I'm a private person. I prefer to be alone. And so when I'm around people, I get nervous. Ask me if I have been around a lot of people today. Have you been around people uh, today? A lot of people? Yes, a I have. A lot of people today. Ask me when I was around a lot of people. When were you uh, around uh, of a, lo a, lot. a lot of people? At lunch. Ask me where I had lunch today. What did you have lunch today? I had lunch in an Italian restaurant. Ask me if it was good. Uh, was it good? Bah, not too good. <laughs> yeah. Ask me if I often go to that restaurant. Uh, how or? No, if I okay. often go to that. Do, do you often go to the restaurant? To that? No, to that particular restaurant. To restaurants? No. OK. <laughs> Look, I had lunch today in an Italian restaurant, and I wasn't crazy about the quality. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I often go to that restaurant. OK. Uh, do you often go to that? Restaurant? No, I don't. Tell her to ask me how often I've gone there. Ask him how often he goes to that restaurant. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Remonto al inicio de mi vida hasta ahora inclusive. Tell her to ask me how often I have gone there. Okay. Not how often in general I go. Ask him how often he has gone, gone there. Gone there. How often have you gone there? Four times. Ask me if I didn't like, if I liked it in the previous times. Did you like it in the previous time? Times. Did you like it in the previous times? No, I didn't. So ask me why I went there today. Why did you go there today? I was invited. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me if I have, how many times I have gone there on my own initiative. How many times have you gone there on your own initiative? Init initiative. Never. Okay. Ask me what I ordered today. What did you order today? Spaghetti. All right, ask me if I like spaghetti. Do you like spaghetti? What does she want to know? She wants to know if you like spaghetti. Yes, I do. And ask me why I didn't like it today. Why didn't you like it today? It was dry. It was too dry. Ask me if they always serve dry spaghetti. Do they always serve dry spaghetti? Yes, they do. <laughs> ask me if that restaurant is always crowded. Is that restaurant always crowded? Yes. Como? Is that restaurant always crowd, crowdy? Crowdy, no. Crowded. Ah. Con de al final. Crowded. Is that restaurant always crowded? Yes, it is. Ask me why it's crowded if I don't like it. Why it's always so Why is it? Why is it? Is it crowded if it's so bad? Bad. Well, it's bad in my opinion. It's cheap. Mm -hmm. Okay, ask me how much my spaghetti cost. How much uh, did your spaghetti cost? Did you spaghetti or did your? Did the spaghetti cost? Or your spaghetti? Your spaghetti cost. I think it cost nine euros. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I paid for the meal. Did you pay for the meal? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Ask me who paid for it. Who paid for it? Who paid, paid for, for it. it? Ivan did. Ask me who Ivan is. Who's Ivan? He's a man from New Zealand. Have you ever been to New Zealand? Never. Okay, ask Eva if she has ever been to New Zealand. 
Eva, have you ever been to New Zealand? No, I haven't. All right, ask her if she would like to go. Would you like to go? Yes, I would. Ask her what the capital of New Zealand is. What's the capital of New Zealand? Auckland. Uh, yeah. No. O no. Auckland? That's Auckland. Ask her what the biggest city is in New Zealand. What's the biggest city in New Zealand? Auckland. <laughs> Auckland. 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 Okay. Ask her, well, ask Annette if Auckland is the capital. Is Auckland the capital of New Zealand? I don't know. I think it's not. Why? It's Sydney. <laughs> no, Sydney's Australia. No, Sydney's Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now ask her if Auckland, well, no, tell her to ask me if Auckland is the capital of New Zealand. Ask him if Auckland is the capital of uh, New Zealand. It's Auckland the capital. Perdona? Is. Is Auckland the capital of New Zealand? No, it's not. Ask me what city the capital is. What city is the capital? Wellington. Mm. Wellington is the capital. Ask me if it's located on the North Island or on the South Island. Is, is it located in the north on. on the North Island or on the South, south, south. Island? It's located on the North Island. It, ask me if Auckland is also located on the North Island. Is Auckland also located in on, on the North Island? Cuando se trata de islas decimos on, siempre. Okay. Ma, Palma de Mallorca is on Mallorca. Mm -hmm. Okay. San Antonio is on Ibiza. All right. Uh, Tenerife is on the island of Tenerife, mm -hmm. okay, etc. So, yes, they, they are on the same island. Auckland, ask me what the most important city is on the South Island. What is the most important city on the, on the South Island? Christchurch. Mm -hmm. Iglesia de Cristo is the name, Christchurch. Ask mm -hmm. me if I've ever been to New, New have Zealand. You, have you ever been to New Zealand? No, I haven't. Tell her to ask me why I know so much <laughs> about New Zealand. Asking why he knows so much about New Zealand. Why do you know so much about New Zealand? I don't know people I've known from New Zealand, and ask me if, I, if Ivan is from Wellington. Is Ivan from Wellington? No, he's not. Ask me if he's from Auckland. He's from, is he from Auckland? No, no, he's not. Ask me if he's from Christchurch. Is he from Christchurch? No, he's not. Ask me where he's from. Where In, is he from? He's from Rotorua. <laughs> All right. He's, um, he's a, a native person from New Zealand. And ask me if Rotorua is on the North Island. Is Rotorua on, on the North Island? Yes, it is. Very good. Okay, now, <laughs> ask me why he invited me to lunch. Why did he invite you to lunch? Repeat. Why did he invite you? No. Why did he invite you to lunch? What does she want to know? He, she wants to know why he invited you uh, to lunch. Uh, as a gesture of gratitude. You understand? How do you say in detail? Un gesto. A gesture. 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 Gesture escrito, pronunciado, gesture. Of appreciation or gratitude. Ask me how long we've known each other. How long have you known him? How I've long known, have him? You known him. I've known him for eight years. We have known each other for eight years. Mm -hmm. Ask me where we met. Where did you meet? We, went, we, we met in the, in the same company, working together. Ask me if he has been an English teacher for a long time. Has he been an English an English teacher for a long time? For eight years. Ask me what he did before that. What did uh, he do before that? He was a coach. Mm -hmm. Now tell Annette to ask me what kind of coach he was. Annette, ask him what kind of coach he was. What kind of coach uh, did he was he was he? A coach is an entrenador. Well, what do you think? <laughs> Un entrenador. But what kind of sport? What do you think? He's from New Zealand. What's the national sport of New Zealand? <laughs> you know? Rugby. Rugby. Okay, he was a rugby coach. Ask me if he was a rugby coach in England. Was he a rugby coach in England? No, he wasn't. Ask me where he was a coach. Uh, where, where was he a, a, a coach? In, well, in Madrid, in Spain. At rugby? Yeah, mm -hmm. rugby. He was training one of Cardinal Cisneros, Arquitectura, uh, and one, one of the rugby teams in Spain. All right. Ask me if he spoke Spanish when he came to Spain. Did he speak Spanish when he came to Spain? Uh, no, he didn't. Ask me if he's a big person. Is he a big person? He's a giant, un gigante. All right, he's strong, okay? Yeah. Bah, he's a strong New Zealand, all black, like you. You understand? Yeah. All right, now, uh, ask him if he speaks Spanish well now. 
Does he speak uh, Spanish well now? Yes, un poco a lo bruto, but yes, oh. he speaks Spanish well. Eight years. Eight years, of course. <laughs> uh, tell her to ask me if he's married. Ask him if he's married. Is he married? Yeah, not yet. Tell her to ask me if he's planning to get married. Uh, ask uh, Richard if he is planning to get married. Is he planning to get married? Yes, he is. Tell her to ask me who he's going to marry. Asking uh, who is he, who he is going to get married. No, to marry. To marry. Ask him who he's going to, to marry. marry. Repeat. Ask him who he is going to marry. Who is he going to marry? He's going to marry Anna Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Anna Maria. Anne Marie. Ask me if she's Spanish. Is, is she a Spanish girl? Is she, repeat. Is she, is she <laughs> Spanish? Okay, good. Is she this is girl? Is she? Is she a Spanish girl? Uh, no, she's not. Ask me where she's from, Eva. Where is she from? Uh, she's from Ireland. Okay. Uh -huh. And ask him, ask me, <laughs> if she is going to come to Spain. For is him. She, is she going to come to Spain for him? No, she's not. Mm -hmm. Ask me if he's going to Ireland for her. Is he going to Ireland for her? Yes, he is. Ask me if I agree with that. <laughs> Do you agree with that? <laughs> not necessarily. <laughs> Ask me if she has a good job. Uh, she has she a good job? Does she have? Does she have a good job? Uh, yes, she does. Ask me what she does. What does she do? What does she want to know? She wants to know what she does. All right, she works for the Irish government. Okay, representing the Irish government in tourist activities. Okay, high level. Ask me if he has a good job. Uh, does he have a good job? Yes, he does. Ask me what he does. What does he do? He collaborates with me. <laughs> All right. And he's very good and very important for me. But I'm going to lose him. Ask me mm -hmm. if I'm sad to lose him. Are you sad to lose him? Yes, I am. Okay, ask me why he paid for the meal today. Um, why? Why did he pay for the meal today? Because in a, an expression of <laughs> appreciation for eight years. Ask me when he's leaving. When is he leaving? He's leaving uh, next month, on the 21st of December. All right. And tell her to ask me if he's going to get married during Christmas. Ask him if he's going to get married uh, during Christmas. Is he going to get married during Christmas? No, he's not. Ask me when he's going to get married. When is he going to get married? Married. Conseguir a Maria, la pobre Maria. <laughs> when he's... When is he? When is he going to get married? Good. Bring me the camera. Juan se va a casar. When is he going to get married? Casado. Literalmente, literalmente en inglés decimos cuando va a hacerse casado. Literalmente. To get married. Si no dices el de al final, to get married, estás diciendo when is he going to get married? Y eso suena a cuando va a conseguir a María. Okay? So remember, finishing your words in English is extremely important. When is he going to ask me when he's going to get married? When is he going to get married? He's going to get married next June. Ask me why they want to wait until June. Why are they going to wait until June? I have no idea. You ask me all these specific questions and I don't know. Ask me <laughs> where they're going to get married. Where are they going to get married? Are they going to get married on an island? On an mm. island, but not the Irish island, okay? <laughs> ask me what island they're going to get married on. What island are they going to get married on? They're going to get married on a small island next to Malta. Part, mm -hmm. It's part of Malta, maybe 200 meters off the coast of Malta. Ask me if I have ever been to Malta. Have you ever been to Malta? No, I haven't. Have you? No, I haven't. Ask Annette. Annette, have you, <laughs> have you ever been to Malta? No, I haven't. Ask, okay, ask me if my wife has ever been to Malta. Uh, has your wife? Um, ever. ever been to Malta? No, she hasn't. Ask me if Ivan, my friend, has ever been to Malta. Has Ivan ever been to Malta? No, he hasn't. <laughs> Ask me if his future wife has ever been to Malta. Uh, has his future um, wife ever been to Malta? No, she hasn't. So? I don't know. <laughs> They've decided. Now, ask Annette if, she, if Malta is in the Caribbean. Um, uh, Annette, is Malta in the Caribbean? No, it's not. <laughs> no, <for your> castle. <laughs> no, it's not. Ask her if it's in the South China Sea. Is Malta in the China Sa South, China. South China Sea? Sea. Yes, no, it is. No, it's not. Malta? No. no. 
No. no. Tell her to ask me if Malta is in the Mediterranean. Ask Kim is if Malta is in the Mediterranean. Is Malta, ask me. Is Malta in the Mediterranean? Yes, it is. Ask me if it's between Greece and Turkey. It's between Greece. Is Gre it? Is it between Greece and Turkey? No, it's not. Ask me if it's between Turkey and Syria. Is it between Tur Turkey and Syria? No, it's not. Cyprus, uh -huh. yes, but not Malta. Ask me if it's between Spain and Morocco. It's between Spain. Pregúntamelo. Is it, is it between Spain and Morocco? Es el motivo de este ejercicio. Yeah. El is it. Y si me lo vas a fastidiar. <laughs> Come on. Is it? Ask is me it? if Malta. Ask me if it's between Spain and Morocco. Okay. Is it between Spain uh, and, and Morocco? No, it's not. Ask me if it's between Spain and Algeria. It's, is it between <laughs> Spain and Algeria? Uh, no, it's not. Ask me if it's between Italy and Croatia. Is it between Italian and... Italy. Italian. Croatia. Croatia. No, it's not. Ask me if it's between Syria and Greece. Is it between Syria and Greece? No, it's not. Ask me what countries it's between. What country is between? It's, is it between? Muy bien, que bien suena. Dilo otra vez. What country is it between? No tienes dominio de los pequeños. No tengo dominio de nada. Y no son flecos de pequeños <laughs> aspectos fundamentales. <laughs> ah, a lo mejor dominio mi corazón, sí, pero del inglés. Pero del inglés. No. All right. Is it between? Is it between? What countries? Ask me what countries it's between. What, what country? country is it between? Countries. Countries. Is it between? It's between Italy and Tunisia. Now, is uh -huh. Tunisia on the northern coast of Africa or on the southern coast of Europe? It's a question. Or <laughs> I'm asking you, Eva. It's a is Tunisia, <laughs> capital Tunis, is Tunisia <laughs> on the northern coast of Africa or the southern coast of on Europe? On the northern coast. Uh, Tunisia is uh, on oh. the northern coast. Northern. Northern coast of uh, Africa. Africa. Northern. Nor Northern. Norberto? Nor? Nor. Northern. Northern. Good. Southern. Southern. Okay. Ah, that's difficult. Northern. Northern. Southern. Southern. Okay. So Tunisia is on the northern it's coast. It's on the northern coast. Coast of Africa. Good. And Italy? Um, it's not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Italy is not in the northern on. on the northern coast of Africa. Good. Is it on the southern coast of Asia or Europe? Uh, Italian is, is Italy. in the Italy. Is in the southern on, 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 on the so southern 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 coast, coast of uh, Europe. 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 Now, oh. <laughs> Malta is equidistant, more or less, between Sicily mm -hmm. and Tunisia, and it's, it blocks the Mediterranean. In order to pass from the eastern mm -hmm. Mediterranean to the western, northern, southern, no, eastern, western. In order to pass from the, north, from the eastern Mediterranean, near Egypt, Israel, Syria, Turkey, to the western Mediterranean, France, Spain, Morocco, Italy, yeah. you need to pass <laughs> between, very small area between Sicily and Malta, or in the south, between Tunisia and Malta. And it's not much space. So it's a very important island in history. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask me if I would like to visit Malta. Would you like to visit Malta? Yes, I would. Ask me if I'm planning to go next year. Mm -hmm. Are you planning to go next year? If, if Ivan invites me, yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Ask me if I will go to his wedding if he invites me. Would you go to his wedding? Will you? No, it's futuro ah. condicional. No. Will you go uh, to his wedding if he invites you? Of course I will. Ask me if, if I will go even if I have a conflict uh, in my agenda. Will you go even if you have a conflict in your agenda? Of course. I'll change the, mm -hmm. the uh, schedule. Ask me if I will go even if I have to cancel this television show. Uh, will you go even if you have to cancel this tele uh, television Tele show? Yes, I will. Even if I have to cancel this show, I will go to Ivan's wedding because Ivan is a friend. And there's nothing more valuable in life than two things, love and friendship. Those are the two things that make the world go around. Además del dinero. Okay, it makes the world go around. So, we'll come back in about four or five minutes and continue, maybe with Ivan, maybe with other stories. So, don't go away. You have five minutes. But I want you back 
when we start again. Okay? See you in a moment.